Hi guys, welcome on my YouTube channel Crochet Pink Pumpkin. If you already subscribed, well, thank you to be here again for a new tutorial. This week, I will show you how to make this Christmas hat. So it's pretty basic, but it's actually very high demand. So I thought that would be a good idea to make a tutorial. I made a big one like that. So the video you are watching right now is a visual support for the big hat pattern. So during the video, I will just show you round, round, sorry, round by round. And if you have any doubts like that, you can watch around, watch the technique, you know, like, so it's a visual support for the big one. But I also made a small one right here that I used for my minions. I actually made a small one first and then I was like, well, I should make a big one too. So anyway, so a small one and for the small one, you can find the written pattern on my blog. Every links are in the description, like right here. And what else to say? Yes, it's a very beginner uh, friendly pattern. You know, you don't need to know crazy stitches, just a chain, the base is, the base of the pattern is a chain. Then you will need a single crochet, decrease. I think that's pretty it. And maybe a slip stitch somewhere, but that's very, very easy. So for the measurement, I didn't uh, make different fits and everything because honestly, I didn't know how to do. And it's the first time I'm a, I make a hat. So I was like, I was trying to figure it out. So this one, as you can tell, fits my head and my head circumference, also my, what they call like hat, hat measurement or whatever. I am a 21 inch, like 20, yeah, a little bit more than 21, but you know, like 21 each and you see it fits me. And so I explain in the tutorial how to make it a little bit bigger if you need to, or a little bit smaller if you need to. Honestly, that will not go totally like small or totally big because I just didn't know how to make different fits, but I do know that if you, increase the size of your hook or if you decrease it, it makes it smaller or bigger so i explained to you in the written pattern as i said the link in the description so i will suggest to try to do like two rounds as i wrote in the pattern and see if it fits your head i think it should fit i mean it really depends but i've tried it on my husband and he, he does fit too because the, the yarn i chose is pretty pretty elastic so it should be fine anyway let me know if you have any question in the comment section and right now i will tell you how to get the pattern so as usual you can get the free version of my pattern on my blog crochetpinkpumpkin.com so you can go ahead on my blog and read it but you can also get the pdf version i do know a lot of people prefer to get the pdf version or just want to support me and my business and i have to say in december i got so many orders so thank you so much guys if you are watching Thank you so much. It makes me so happy every time I see a, a PDF order. So anyway, you can get the PDF uh, right here on my Etsy shop. The link is in the description. And it may be easier for you to honestly to follow the pattern because you see like you have step by step, you have pictures, everything. So, And you have also a supplies checklist like that. So when you go do your uh, yarn groceries, you can you know, check what you need, what you have. So let's get started with the supplies. So first you need a hook size eight. Let's see if my camera adjusts. Yeah, a size eight millimeter. In American size, eight millimeter is L11. So yeah, I'm not, I just don't know this number. So I, I have to read it. So it's L11. I explained in the pattern also, if you want to make it the, if you want to make the hat bigger or smaller, I explained you, you may need a 7.5 or a 8.5, but it really depends. But let's start with the eight millimeter. Then for the yarns. So I use two different types of thread. I use a sparkly one red like that that i found at obi lobby um it's called velvety small smooth <laughs> sparkle right here so it's very nice it's very pretty uh, 
but I have to say something about it. He, do, he does lose uh, sparkles. When you make it, not that much when I wear it because see, yeah, I don't have sparkles. Like, I mean, I have sparkles, but not from the hat. And so it's fine. But once, when you make it, it's, there is a lot of sparkle everywhere. So I just want to warn you, like before, don't get mad at me if you get this yarn and you lose the sparkle because I would have told you. And this one, you will need to double it because it's too thin. It was too thin for my pattern, so I just use uh, two hands, hand, and I just like crochet them together. So this one, if you don't want the sparkle effect, you can, you see like this one. So I use that yarn right here. I don't have the yarn anymore. I use it all, but it's from Amazon. It's uh, the brand is Estaco, and honestly, it's very good um, from a non-famous brand. I always order. I think they have cool colors. So the red and yeah, and this one you don't need to double it. So uh, so it's perfect and it's plain. So if you don't want the sparkle, uh, then for the white. For the white part right here, I use Berna Blanket Extra right here. So as I said earlier, it's a very elastic uh, yarn, so it can really stretch. You know, when uh, when you put it around your head, it's like very stretchable. And it's a George 7, so it's a jumbo. And same thing, you will use it with a hook 8 millimeter as written in the pattern. And the color is white. I realized, I forgot to tell you, uh, this one, the George is four, and the one from Estaco is five. Yeah. And also last time I received a lot of comments about the yardage and the weight and everything about the yarn. Everything is written in the pattern uh, because I don't feel like seeing every, you know, measurement and everything uh, on this video. So every, you have more details about the yarn on my blog, on the article. Hey guys, so uh, while I was editing the video, I realized I forgot to tell you about the acrylic yarn um, used to make the pom-pom. So I use, uh, I love this yarn from Obi Lobby in white. Honestly, you can choose any type of white acrylic yarn. It doesn't really matter. But this one is good because it's pretty cheap. It's $5 and you have a lot, you know, so you can use it for other projects. And then you will need... <laughs> A darling needle like that. The plastic. I use a plastic one. Uh, then you will need a stitch marker right here, as usual. You know, not to get uh, lost in your rounds. Then a round counter. Where did I put? Oh, here. This one, as usual, I always talk about this one. It's very good. Very. Uh, very. Oh my God! I'm sorry about the stabilization. Maybe for Christmas, I will receive a new camera. <laughs> anyway, so uh, a round counter, you need a reliable one. This one is very good. It's from Amazon. The links are in the description. And last thing, yes, for the pompon, I show you how to make the pompon in the tutorial. So you will need cardboard, except if you have a pom-pom makers already, which is possible, but I don't have some, so I use cardboards and on the cardboard you win the compass, do, do you know, like to make the, to make the round and a ruler. And I think that's it. It's a very short list of supplies. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. So the following video is a visual support for the center hat crochet pattern. The link is in the description. It's meant to be watched with a pattern in case you face a doubt about a specific round or a technique. I also made a small hat for my uh, crochet plushies and the pattern is available on my blog as well. If sometimes the video goes too fast, you can slow it down in the YouTube reader in the settings. The video will show round after round, but for example, if the rounds are the same for 10 rounds, for example, I will only show the beginning of the first and the end of the last round. 
When a round is made of six times the same sequence of stitches, the video will only show the first sequence. For example, R24, six single crochet, one decrease six times. I will only show one single crochet. Let's get started.
So you should be done with your Santa hat. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this pattern. Please let me know how you went, if you managed to make it work. And please send me pictures. I want to know everything about your work. Don't forget to subscribe for new tutorials. I see you next time and I wish you happy holidays.